I didn't know this until this morning. Your final match in the original WWE run was in 2011 for a number one contender battle royal on Raw. Now, do you know the question I'm going to ask? No, but my brother and I were talking about it the other day. And I was like, oh, my goodness, what a weird coincidence. I never think of this stuff. Oh, well, uh, I think actually, I don't know if I found it out or someone sent it to me, but Gail Kim eliminated herself. She just escaped the ring. And then <laughs> uh, she and you are seen running up the ramp laughing. What's the story there? <laughs> Oh my goodness. She swears up and down that she never said it. She's like, I didn't say that. I was like, Gail, I was like right behind you watching you. It was all unfolding. Like for me, I got eliminated in the stupidest way, but I was, that was all my idea because I thought it'd be funny, but everybody missed it completely. But when I saw her do that, she was like yelling at the crowd, tune in the impact next week. And she was telling everybody that all along, like all the way out and hung out. Like, she was, tune in the impact. <laughs> I was like, She's my hero. He's just my hero. <laughs> so, Honestly, she was. And then when, it, when we went to the back, I was like, are you serious? Like, are you serious? She's like, fuck yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> did, did, you, like, oh. did you both realize that was going to be your last match, essentially? Because I imagine maybe Gail Kim did if she was leaving. You, she knew. I didn't. I didn't until the next day. And the next day, it was like, so it basically, it was just kind of like, on the walk away and um i went to go support john because i had to drive him to smackdown because he was working on i think it was either smackdown or ecw so i drove him to the show so i stayed and i was in gorilla and vince was passing by <laughs> and he stopped and he turned and he looked at me and he said you have a good night and then he turned <laughs> and then walked away and all the guys were like well, you know, like he made sure to go say goodnight to you. I was like, holy fuck, I'm getting fired. I was like, shut up, Melina. You're not getting fired. I said, he just said, fuck you to me, but with a good night. <laughs> They're like, no. You're crazy. Oh, I guess they need you. What would they do without you? And sure enough, a couple of days later, I got fired. I called it. I called it. Because in my mind, it's like, I mean, somebody just quit and somebody has to pay and I just happened to be there. Oh, really? The, like, yes. uh, so, so, so it wasn't for like the Battle Royal thing or was it because you're like guilty by association with Gail, do you think? No, I don't think because I didn't hang out with anybody. So I just think I just happened to be there. And then it was kind of like, you know what? What is she doing? Is she doing enough? Do we have her doing anything? It was like I was there visually to like, hey, let's really open up like to see what she contributes to to everything but in my mind it's like as soon as he he said have a good night i knew i knew i was marked <laughs> <laughs> oh, again no. speculation everybody speculation but yeah, I but mean. you called it i mean you called it absolutely right mm -hmm. <laughs> do, do you know i was sort of looking back at your matches and stuff and 2011 you're challenging for the divas title and then just straight afterwards, you're just on WWE Superstars. And I just always wonder why that is. Why do you put someone in like a number one contender's position? And then if you're not talking to anyone in the office, why do they just decide, actually, what we've decided is something completely different now? No, but then you have to also understand, like, say, take a person like, it, I don't know. I, I don't know who's like nowadays, but or even then. But there were people like, say... They would have Seamus back in the day and he would like annihilate everybody. And he's I mean, he looked so strong. And I was like, man, he's kicking ass. He's doing a great job. And then all of a sudden the next week have him job. Like it's like, and then start this pattern of like, okay, he's not that strong. And da, da, da. it's like, they would do that to a lot of talent. And that goes to that, like where I get angry, mm. you take a talent and they, it's not just me. They did this to a lot of people where you push them to the moon and you give them all this you know, like you gave them credibility, you turned them into something extraordinary by giving them um, the, you, you gave them the possibilities, you gave them the storylines, you gave them the push, you gave them all these things. Now you the have credibility. what you need. Yeah, you have what you need in that talent. Why destroy it? They do that with so many people. And it's like, why would you do that? 
There's a way of having people lose and telling a story without taking away what they're worth, without demolishing what you just created. There's a way of telling that story and they know how to do it. So I don't have the answers, but it, I know that it happened to everybody and not just me. Yeah.